Hello students, welcome back. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss with you all how to draw parabola using parallelogram method. I hope you know how to draw parallelogram. And sometimes they won't be giving you the specific dimensions as well as the angle. You need to assume those. But whereas I am assuming here 100 by 60 and the angle included angle is 60. In the question, sometimes they won't, they'll be asking just like that trace parabola using parallelogram method that's it for a 10 mark or a 15 mark so what you are supposed to do is you need to assume this as well as this now first what you are supposed to do is with the scale locate 100 centimeter 100 millimeter on your drawing sheet so i have located already here the point a i am in the point b is nothing but 100 cent 100 millimeter later we are supposed to locate the shorter edge in order to draw that the angle is 60 degree now take your pro circle or protractor and place on a and measure a 60 degree angle inclination from a as well as from b getting dear students now measure the distance of 60 along this a and the 60 degree angle and 60 millimeter draw a line from a as well as draw a line even from point b draw a line from a as well as draw a line from b and please do work out this problem or using instruments i mean the drafter itself why because we are need to draw the parallel lines in certain cases later divide this i mean this is a b and c d is a parallelogram and the angle here it is 60 degree it is given here later i need to divide this a b line into I mean two halves I mean this is 50 is a division and later along with this you are going to draw the parallel line along AD you are going to locate a line here in between at 50 why because AB is 100 let this be ABCD I am giving a name to it as AF so here in this space we are supposed to trace the parabola curve using a parallelogram method so for this what you are supposed to do is divide this ad into any number of divisions let us say this is of how much dear students 100 and uh, 60 i am going to divide it into three equal divisions so i can make it with the scale so this is one this is two i mean uh 1, 2, 3, 4. Getting dear students, this is being divided into these many number of divisions. Later, I am going to divide even this also into similar number of equal division. Let us say this is 1 and this is 2. 1, 2 and 3. 3 equal divisions, let it be. Now, you can divide into 3 and you can divide into 4 also. Later, AE line also to be divided into equal number of divisions. So, AE is how much dear students? 50. So, how many divisions we are done? 3 divisions. 1, 2 and 3. So, for that I am going to follow division of a line concept. You know how to divide a line into equal number of divisions with your compass. I mean with your compass. You are taking certain distance and locating at 1 and cut this. 1, 2 and 3. And the last division need to be joined to E. Hope you know how to divide. Take the scale rafter parallel to this and locate 3 equal divisions equal divisions and let this be one and let this be two along this later what you are supposed to do here is join this two to f e f line as well as even one two one two even join this one also to this f line getting the s you are going to join whatever the lines look points located on ad try to join to e i mean f later with the spacing it parallel to AD line, go to 1 and join this 1 with 1 line intersection. Getting Similarly, go to 2 and join it to the second line, 2 with the 2 line. So, wherever they are intersecting, they are nothing but the point of intersections. So, this is 1 along 1 and this is 2 along this 2 and this is 2. Getting dear students. Similarly, we are supposed to locate the equal number of divisions similar to that of by measuring to either sides of BC. So, what I am going to do here is to make our work fast. So, place your rafter in such a way 90 degree and locate the point here. 
and even this point. It doesn't mean that you are supposed to work out only two dear students. You can take even three divisions as well as four divisions also. So you can work out accordingly to get better curve if you divide more number of divisions. Later what you are supposed to do even here also this side the BC line to be divided into equal number of divisions and join those points to F. Join those points to F from this later i told that we are supposed to divide even a e b also into equal number of divisions so you can follow division of a line method or take your compass and measure the distance and mark on this one as well as two and three measure with this or take the scale and measure this distance and work out instead of going with division of a line concept what you are supposed to do here is now this is one and this is your two so what you are supposed to do place parallel to this cb and go to one and draw a line parallel to this similarly go to two parallel line along cb and join it to two so that you are going to get two points here and this is along this this i can call it as one dash so p1 dash and this i am calling it as p2 dash so later what you are supposed to do here is take your hb pencil before that make the dots from a and join all these points join all these points so that till f you are going to join later it is going to be touching p2 dash and further you are going to reach the b point so without lifting your hb pencil draw in all these points in order to get a smooth curve in order to get smooth curve this is how you are supposed to work out the parabola construction using a, a parallelogram method. Dear students, hope you got this. Later, you are supposed to draw even the given dimension specifications, whatever is given in the problem, like dimensions are given here. So this is given as 100. Hope you know how to draw the arrowheads and make sure to work out accordingly and use the instruments and do not draw freehand do not draw freehand as I am explaining here without few instruments. So you, you have to use all the instruments accordingly to get a correct precise drawing and the smooth curve. Make sure to work out the dimensions accordingly and try to write all the time the dimensions above the dimension line. And do not forget to highlight this parallelogram, I mean the parabola only with HB pencil and the remaining all blue color which I have done should be done only with H pencil or 2H pencil and do not forget to write a parallelogram method, a parabola. This is how you are supposed to work out. Hope you are getting my videos. Please for more videos, do subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.